Big Vol 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 Big Vol Betty. Make one last Oregon Tennessee video. Uh, DJ David. Most of the other Oregon fans, the U of O Duck Bros, and I haven't seen Sports Chat 503's video yet, but all the Oregon fans are harping on Oregon speed. And let's not be foolish here. You know, yeah, I've come on here and I said, I think Tennessee's going to win this game. A lot of people think I'm crazy for thinking that. We've had my buddy ACP Carter come on here and rip the state of Oregon. We've all got our own different way of making these videos. And some people just don't like us for whatever reason, and that's fine. What I hear most of all is I want to hear some reasons why Tennessee's going to beat Oregon. I don't want to just hear y'all have got a bigger stadium and more tradition. And that's fair enough. A physical team that hits you in the face, punches you in the gut, they are going to win over a finesse team most times if they're playing with equal talent. We've already had the discussion about talent at Oregon and Tennessee. The recruiting has been pretty much mirror identical the last four years, five years. Oregon, you know, has just benefited from having a better coach and playing in a weaker conference. I promise you... And this is speculation, this is nothing I can prove with any facts, but I promise you if Oregon played Tennessee's schedule last year, they would not have went 11-1 and one or whatever and one it was they went. Alabama would have probably beaten Oregon. Florida probably, well, I don't know about that. Georgia would have beaten Oregon. South Carolina would have probably beaten Oregon. I just don't think that... Oregon or the Oregon fans are factoring in the physicality part of this game enough. And I'm not saying that, you know, man for man, every player Tennessee has is more physical than Oregon. I just, in general, Tennessee is a more physical football team, in my opinion, than Oregon. Now, Granted, we're playing with a new system here at Tennessee. We're going to have to play more perfect football game than Oregon is to win. Our guys are going to have to play spot on, pretty damn perfect football. But regardless of how perfect either team plays, if this turns into a turnover battle, Max and say it team that makes the fewest mistakes win. When teams make those mistakes, you gotta pounce. Or, as General Nealon puts it, play for and make the breaks and when one comes your way, work them over! Well, he doesn't say work them over. It's play for and make the breaks and when one comes your way, score. And I don't mean field goals. Field goals are not going to get it done against Marcus Mariota and LaQuintus Speediata and Zippity Doody Yodi and, you know, all those speedy little Oregon kids. Now let's talk about speed for a second. Yes, all those kids are fast. But you're not dealing with chopped liver at Tennessee. Man for man, sure. Maybe Oregon's guys run the 40 you know, a tenth faster, or even two tenths faster. I'm going to take a team pounding on that speedy little guy every day. You got to get a hold of them. You got to get them down. You got to wrap them up and drop their asses. None of this bippity-boppity try and dive under their feet and knock them off balance shit. They're little smurf-like ducks. Wrap their asses up gang tackle and punish them. You know, I don't know what you guys are eating out there in Oregon 
for your linemen to be so small compared to ours. You know, tofu and rice pudding and sushi doesn't get it in Tennessee. Our boys got to have some meat, bread, and potatoes. Give my Tennessee boys a big slab of dead fresh meat, some cornbread, and a big old jug of milk or fucking whatever you want to drink. Gobble that shit down and come out there and corn mash that ass. Because everybody knows that corn don't grow on Rocky Top. That's why we get our corn from a jar. Then when that jar gets empty, we're going to smash you ducks over the head with it and then kick you in the tail feathers. It is duck smashing season. There is no reason. No reason. Tennessee cannot come out and win this game this weekend. I'm telling you. We're not Nickel State. We're not Virginia. This team has got to be fired up. They've got to be tired of losing big games. They they want to taste the blood. You know? It's kind of like a, a wolf. What's that blood on his tongue? Then when he smells it, <sighs> go get some. So don't bleed on us, ducks, because we're going to eat your ass up if you do. So I'm just going to say, go balls, screw y'alls. Get right up in their face Saturday, Tennessee Volunteers, and dish out the pain. That's it. Unless some duckhead gives me a reason. Best believe it, Oregon ducks.